He taught me to fight. I suppose I owe him that. Wow. So is this all over then? We can breathe easy. We figured out the murderer. It was the guy who shoots things for a living. What are you looking at? Are you even capable of looking? You leave me alone if I give you this. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Push his ass out the way. He was the first I've killed, but I doubt it'll be the last. Crazy town. So what is this room over here about? Y'all, what is this room over here about? Can I go into here? I'm the walking simulator guy, but I don't... I'm so... Confused. We have not gotten all the coins, that's for sure. Alright, let's talk to this dude. What do you make of all this? Of course, he created you without a mouth. But I imagine he didn't spare you from the ability to hear me. I want you to enter my personal cabin. It's a quaint little thing perched a few paces east of the inn. You and our player friend will add a final dimension to this story. Well, hold on. Before we do all that... So Bryce, we did everything in here, right? Ah, there's a coin. Fancy, fancy. Oh, was there coins uh, down by the phone? Did I miss that? <laughs> On a scale of one to Nick Cage, how crazy is this game? Uh, it's as crazy as, as I want it to be, that's for sure. Oh, they're in the way of the phone, so I can't see the money that could be there. Oh, dingle dangle dicks. Ooh, take that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I still need one dollar. No more money, huh? There's the that piggy bank money. What? Well, I got it. How do I break the piggy bank? Is there a weapon? How do I break you, piggy bank? Put the piggy bank in the oven? I thought it was in glass, but I'll cook this shit. I got no problem with that. Sure, that worked somehow. I don't know how, why, but it worked. Okay, up we go. Go right outside. There's money there. Like outside, upstairs outside, where it was before? <gasps> 
More money. Ugh. Nice. Oh, really? Did I goof on that? All right, we'll, we'll solve that. But first... Who the hell is that? What the hell is that? Jeremiah slept the floor. Jeremiah wanted more. Jerry dreamed of a job that was fun. Jerry's story had just begun. What, the f what does that mean? What, is, what does any of this mean? What? What did that... Should I get beer? Should I put beer in here? I don't see any coins. What am I? Oh, go the opposite or I'm such an idiot. Go the opposite way. Right, 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 right. I get you, chat. I get it. I get it. I'm a big dummy. What? Ah, a first person perspective. Greetings. Did you grow weary of being a vessel? You wanted to be the protagonist. A shame. What? Yep, okay. And her room. go in there. I've been in Bryce's room. Yeah, I know there's a soda machine downstairs. I'm trying to remember how much money was in it, though. I can't go up anymore. We can't go down. So this escape pod that's all the way down here is Lazarus Slat... Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm still missing eight coins, huh? Now where the hell would I find those? Hey, pal. <laughs> Speak up, guy. Unless you got a way to spring me out of here. Useless. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way then. Yeah! So that's the escape pod he took. Fascinating. There's beer down here. But none that I can use. Right? Man, I'll figure it out eventually. And this is the emergency call that brings this back to me if it's stuck somewhere else. So there's nothing else with coins. Whoa, never mind. So there definitely are coins hidden elsewhere. You can hear me, right? Head out through the front and walk over to my cabin. Mm 
So I can go in here, and this is a portal that opens up other th things. What the shit? Oh, there's the shroomy guy. So the real question becomes, what, what is all this? What is all this? I can't touch it or move it or change it. I can take my lamp off, but I don't want to take my lamp off, do I? I can shut down the hollow system, I think. Attic lift? Pretty sure that down is on. Yeah, it makes a noise, but the main lift, if I... Maybe this will activate the attic lift? Because it says I'm going to floor two. Well, I can't go any higher. So where will the attic lift be? Is the question. There was a coin in Bryce's room? Yeah, I don't want to leave until I find all the coins. Because if I leave, there's a chance that... Attic lift was the one that was outside. I don't... Yes, agreed. There's also a chance the coins could be in the cabin. Agreed. I'm just not sure. Yeah, I guess we should go look. There's definitely a hidden compartment. In his room. In Storm Rook room. There's a hidden compartment? What? Here? Oh! The cracks in the walls! Oh! Now they got me looking for where the rip wallpaper is! Oh, booty, booty, booty rocking everywhere. Now I'm looking for ripped wallpaper and shit. Oh, man. Where would I find this stuff? 
All right, all right. Where would I find stuff? Okay, so we go down. Close, but now I'm just clicking. Now I'm just clicking. I don't know where I don't know where to click. Hello? All right, I guess we go on this adventure outside. I've been everywhere there is to be. We'll find out together. This is his cabin, huh? Well, that's the cabin, and this is his outhouse. Yo, I'll take two more. Nice. Okay, all right. Let's go the other direction. Before we, I know games like, okay. Do we go back inside and drop these three in? Oh, man. Put them in, all right. No chances. We're doing this. We're figuring this out. Before we go into this crazy ass secret secret place. We're figuring this out. What do you mean there's also a puzzle with the cranks in the bottom room? I did that, didn't I? Did I not do that, chat? Did I not do that bit? 50 cents. We need 50 cents to unlock the secret. Thought we did this. This puzzle right here, I thought we did. Unless there's another crank puzzle. <gasps> With which to yank the cranks. Right? That's how the operating table became online. I'm not, I'm not sure I understand. All the dragon bile, everything went into here. So can I reverse it? Oh, cranks in the control room. Okay, yeah, no, I know that. In the secret room behind the kitchen. Right. I just don't know what the, how to do that. We'll figure it out together, I guess. Right, right. The kitchen cranks. I don't know what this, like, I don't know what the deal is, though. What would be the... 
Today's special hot pie. Open armory. Okay, not up, down, left, right. I see the arrows. I don't know what the arrows mean, though. Press this button. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Right there, right there. Three, six. Three, three, six, six, three. Get out of town. Is that the code? We in, boys? Woo, 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 woo. We have an extra 25 cents, too. Oh, my God. Hell yes. Underneath the blink, there was a code written. I got, I got an extra, I got an extra quarter. What? Wait, the brain control things? MC serum. What? Root Bear Reggie's legs were gone. Root Bear Reggie had a pawn. He'd point his finger and Jerry would run. Now Jeremiah was having some fun. What the shit? What? What? The mind control serum? What is that? <gasps> that crabby spider person! You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We need to go get that root beer. Do we leave that glass in the other room? Oh, you couldn't see it? That the creepy spider was hanging. All right, I'm going to move my camera again. Boop. The creepy spider was there. What I do with the beer? What I do with the beer bottle? Beer, beer thing. Here, right? Okay. Can I use with this? No. What? Come on! I guess because it's out? But look, right there, there's a spider. But the real question is then, if that's...
I don't understand. The grate in the basement is from an earlier mission. I don't understand what goes here, right? Because that turns something on. Lionel created a Grunda. Lionel taught it to behave. Lionel shut off the power while Gameworks was trying to save. I don't know what... So what is this? Put the glasses on the pedestal in the bar. Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Like this? And like this? Okay, well we got more coins. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I got coins. That's fantastic, but that doesn't help me at all. But what do I use that money for? Maybe possible vending machine in the cabin. I guess we just... goes into the thing and that connects to this what the hell and these are locked and those are additional power cells 20 soda recipes ancient rituals what Let me go here first. Let me go back. Let's go back um, and mess with the statue, right? Before we do that. Because that teleporter is scary and not okay. So let's test this, right? I see that coin. What if I put this here? Nothing. Shit. Eventually we have to get this activated.
Right. I need to unlock the fireplace. But what is in here? What is this? What is this? What? 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 What just happened? I don't know what I don't know what the plaque said. I couldn't read it. What? Walk, magnum opus. Oh, right. this is Lionel Snell. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game, my <laughs> magnum opus, really, called Walk. scene you're looking at is a model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Take it in. That weasel was my favorite pet. I called him, yeah, you guessed it, Weasel Kid. <laughs> and that's Mr. Shrewd. The two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. <laughs> well, you know how that turned out. Yo, I am tripping every ball that I have. All of the balls. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience. Just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research though, and well, that kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it. So I jammed in some real gameplay. I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but but to the average gamer it's a challenge. What? What?
I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. <laughs> that dopamine rush electrified my childhood brain. You can call me Irving. Looks like you need a little help adding enemies to your game. I've got you covered, pal. Irving came as part of the GameWorks package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful. Wow, okay. It didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving. He assured me that it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me, so I let him do his job. No? I don't want- I don't want to move- oh, I guess I can move- alright. Oof, that's the wrong- okay, that doesn't work. Well, I want him to move- I want that guy to move this way. So, yeah, okay. What? Oh. <laughs> Oof. That's just backwards. That's just some backwards bullshit. You do need to dumb it down, Lionel. This is tough. I don't... Like, I see what the arrow's saying. Like, this is how I jump if I... Like, this is the button. The problem is the arrow here... I want to go that way? Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we can switch. It's the bottom. I'm so dumb sometimes. I'm so dumb sometimes. We're good. Give him hell, Jet. You should give me hell. Irving told I'm not me very good at coding. The original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. Kind of a shame, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go back. I just want to be able to jump. Okay, so jump will be this. Oh, come on. All right. And this will be move this way. I'll go to him because there's no one on the map. And this will be moved that way, and we'll go up here. Nope, God dang it. Go up here. Cool. All right. What? What? Well, how do I get past that? Oh my god, I have to recode? <sighs> oh, 
I don't know why I moved that, but okay. And I want to break this and send this to this guy. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? That I had just gotten lucky the first time? That I'm a one-trick pony? Eventually I settled on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. Yeah, but that game sucked. I tried to learn guitar, but I couldn't motivate myself to practice. There was something about the immediacy of game development that I couldn't get out of that thing. Mr. Shrewd was getting older, both in Radical Road and real life. The older I got, though, the less I really cared. About oh, Mr. Shrewd, you monster! I'd been playing a lot of fighting games at that age. Always loved those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. Okay, so... Punch this guy, take hit, this guy. Oh no, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's revenge! Get him! Get him! Revenge! Look at this little bastard, I like when he fights. Okay, anyway, let's reverse that. Let's reverse it. I thought it was just exhilarating to beat the shit out of that Grunda. But the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like I had no idea what people wanted. Radical Road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. No, Mr. Shrew! Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. I'd get emails once in a while, people asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. It had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, fuck it, fine. I sold the franchise to the highest bidder. Oh. Between Game Funa and Lionel Snill. Intellectual property means all technology and intellectual property. All right. Conditionally, $2.5 million. Assistance, assigner. Interesting. When I saw what they did with Super Weasel Kid, I felt a little part of myself. Die. Yeah, that was Weasel Kid 09. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. Back to walking simulator? Oh. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now merely inherited it. 
Should I climb this? Okay, just a jump a little bit higher. You're almost there. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. What? Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Then I hired a team. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my new studio. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. What? What does this mean though? Yo, what is this thing? So Carla likes rubber ducks. Davis would not be okay right now. I bought the rights for my favorite game. That explains, all right. That is my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. This whole story's starting to make a lot of sense, truthfully. Right? Bryce's backstory, that whole thing about him. Fascinating, all right. This is bizarre, but okay. Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. I tried to tell her that Steambot Willie was genderless, but she insisted. So I created Chandrell while she worked on Sado. That eye. Ugh. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in Walk. What the fuck? Damn thing's called Sado. Carla? Carla, what did you do? Carla, what did you do? Not exactly sure what Carla did while she was creating this, you know. She told me some mumbo jumbo about pushing Gameworks to its limits. That character was eerie, to say the least. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. Solid teak, hand carved, gold nameplate. I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. Can't look at anything else, huh? Making Combat Arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, uh, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered, underpowered, too boring. Ugh, I never wanted to work on a fighting game again. Uh, I may be maniacal, but I'm not fighting a guy with no moves assigned. OK. 
Okay, so like boop boop beep boop 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 beep boop. Five strike. So overpowered. OMFG, if Willie doesn't get a nerf, I'm quitting. Make him less powerful. Okay. Calm down. I'll make him three. There you go. There you go. You like that now, Forums? He's perfect. That's perfect. Get off my ass, Internet. That's perfect. Look at that. That is flawless. We're good, right? Less powerful than a three? Oh, my God. All right. What if I make him a two? Will that make the Internet happy? My favorite character is Steamboat Willie. You made him trash. I want to play Willie again. All right. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. This is booty sauce. I have to admit, though, coding the punches and kicks was everything I had hoped it would be. I'd sit in my office for hours just watching these characters go to town on each other. Sometimes they'd look like they could actually feel it. Davis! Oh, God damn it! And he always wins, like every team! You gave him a block ability? That's OP. Blocking is too good. Replace it! With what? With expletive? I don't understand. How am I supposed to replace it? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I don't... What if I do expletives? What if he just swears at people? Davis, you suck. I give him an ultimate move. What the hell? What? Why is this in the coding? Why is this in the coding? Who put this in the code?
I can't reach that, but I can do this. What the hell? Well, this seems dangerous. What? Oh, banned! Sorry, pal. Ugh. God, it was such a relief to ship that game. I hated it by the end. But since my fingers had touched it, it turned to gold. I still had my contract with Game Funa, so I sold the franchise for another boatload of cash. I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. Oh. So my boatload of cash. Now that my studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. Stream will begin soon. I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live, with hundreds of thousands watching. Uh, hmm. Where's that damn mechanic? Try this. Oh, okay, um... <laughs> yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? Still got it. <laughs> Woof. Not again. I said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving! I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game! What? And how are you holding up, Faceless Joe? <laughs> Dull, I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight this slime. You have to solve some brilliant puzzle to open the gate. What? Oh, boy. It makes sense that they choose me for this game. Shendrell's gone. Also, Lazarus, hmm, Valamir too. All I've got left in town is the all I got left is the town mechanic. Woof! Here we go. A tough slime was there. Haven't been decompressed in a while. Cool. Gonna need some spells, huh? Okay, so we'll do. Hmm. Can't do that, so we'll go here, up to there, and then here, to there, and then here. I'll take it. Can you post clips? Go nuts. <laughs> Woof. That's one tough slime. I'm going to need some more mana. Oh, boy. Okay. So I need to go... Mm-hmm. 
And then I need to go... Oops, that wasn't right. Was it? No, it was. Okay, then we go... Mana, activate. Okay. Bring. Level two. The stream had been going all right with the odd hitch or two. But things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos. Whatever that is, I might need it. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Critical boost. Um, how do I... That's not good. Um, well, maybe for now. Let me critical boost this to here. Gotcha. Okay, then we... Change that. I need to get this to here. Oh, I can't cross that. Okay. Um. All right. So the critical boost can go up and around to here, but I need that other blue, which means we got to go dark blue. Woo! Puzzle solving. Okay. Ow! 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 Uh, what if I change this to all, right? Hit enemy all for 30 damage. Or hit enemy one for 50. Let's do... Uh, break this. And go... Oh, we can't do that, huh? Let me do this. Nice. Gravy, okay. And then we break this and we do this over to here, this up to here. I mean, we're doing this in the middle of the game, but it's great. Woo! That's too real! Chrome down, me, I don't need a windshield. Is that it then? Back to the overworld? I guess not. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. What, it Carla? Must have been that because everything went wrong, and everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so I took funds from the severance packages and ran. I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. What? 
living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Wasteworld here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. Am I stuck? I'm okay. I would wake up, sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game. Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. They weren't kind to me. I never finished Wasteworld. I wanted this area of walked. <sighs> I'm pretty sure half of those levels were unbeatable, but I just didn't care anymore. This is so effing insane, this game. I don't get along that well with other people. Carla wasn't even a close friend, but I think she might have been my only one. Oh boy. Sarsaparilla, what does Sarsaparilla mean? What does Sarsaparilla mean? Stop this, what does that mean? What's Sarsaparilla? Oof. The heat of that godforsaken place. Uh, most days it kept me inside. Somehow, the more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. What? these guys. F them. One thousand and six? Hell yes! The final straw was those idiotic monitors. They took my half-finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post-apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. If I couldn't finish the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. Drawn up to 
take on those modders really fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay whatever attempt. He goes on like that for a while. You must be tired of hearing that voice. We're mere pawns to him, but you can change that. Listen to me, this is important. When you see a door of light, walk back to whence you came and look to your right. Now, let's see how far I can skip you forward. <laughs> and that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of Vicious Galaxy 2, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. They're too old. But everyone wanted the same boring space marines from Vicious Galaxy 1. Eventually I got my wish. There was some sort of breach within GameWorks and a lot of data was lost. I had to create a new squad of player characters from scratch after that. Everything got weird after that breach. They told me that I might be in danger. <laughs> danger from what? <laughs> and now we find ourselves at the climax of Walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on, you can do it. Okay, so this goes here. This probably looks daunting. Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. But it's the last one, I promise. Those creepy eye things, all in one puzzle. So it's like this. And like this. No, it's like this. What? No, what? I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot. What? I can't arm the bomb? Because that's not there?
You know, I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle like ten times before the average player could solve it. But great job, you figured it out. <laughs> you win. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap, so Walk is a shoe-in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white doorframe and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? Alright, good. Let's get out of here. Mm-mm, mm-mm, child. Mm-mm. Who are you, little dude? Super Wings okay. was not my first, first game. That was mine. Sasparilla! See, my first game. Sasparilla. Sasparilla, and there's the guy! No, 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 don't do this. It's closing time, Reginald. What? 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 So that can't be. It's not even dark yet. Oh, the old man! What? The old man at the bar was... You must be mistaken. Lionel loves Rupia. And he loves me. Very well. Oh! You've seen it all now, haven't you? And you understand why we are gathered here. You have an important role to play in this, so I hope you're ready. What? 
my loyal patrons, tonight we are all killers. <laughs> this is now my only way out. Oh. Wrong voice. I'd like to be my final KO. As per our agreement, this will take me to Rocky, right? But Mr. Shrewd. I don't want to do this shit. Oh, I don't want to do this shit. I mean, he was a piece of shit, so I don't really care. <laughs> that was great. That was so good. But who was the... Who was the thing that Carla created, though? Right? What did Carla create? I don't understand. Something's not right. What did Carla make? Yeah, what about Sato? Something's not right here. I know these games. I played Pony Island. Something's not right. Plug in that Satan USB? Hell no! That shit is back there in a drawer. I'm not I'm not pulling that thing even anywhere close to this. Look in the drawer, the USB is gone. I don't even want to look now. If I looked at that drawer and that shit was gone, I would be, I would not go home. I would go to a hotel and hide out. What? The game just crashed. The game just stopped. What? What? Um. I'm restarting the game. <laughs> oh. 
What the hell? So, I'm not going to look behind me. Behind me is this little guy, and that's it. I'm not even going to, I can see the camera. I'm fine. Oh, what is this? All the chapters. The least we can do is this, right? But great job. You figured it out. <laughs> you win. So I listen to the game and complete and that the hacks. Us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap, so Walk is a shoe-in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white doorframe and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? Alright, good. Let's get out of here. Created with GameWorks 5.6.6F. F. And then it just closes as well? What? Oh, I have so many questions. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do some research. We're going to come back to this. But it is already 9.30, so I want to make sure that I can get this video like edited and rendered up for tomorrow. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this because I have questions. I have questions and I need answers. And by God, I'm going to find my answers. I don't know how. I don't know when. But by God, I'm going to find them. Something's up with all this. Something's up with all of this. I don't know what. Hmm. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Not a lot of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! It's a professional broadcast. Now I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got